Okay, just quickly, let's have a look at a real life example or a made up example, but one on the board. I will work one through. Let's say here, I've got 100 kilonewtons pushing down there. I'm only going to use this example in every single video. There is a light, there is the roller bearing, so there it only has a vertical reaction. Here is a fixed bearing. So I've got the reaction left vertical, I've got a reaction left horizontal. And let's just make this 50 on that. And I'm going to put 50 kilonewtons coming across. And here I'll just put it at 45 degrees, 100 kilonewtons. But there's a fairly busy bridge. Let's now just go through. First up, free body diagram. Let's assume that is two units. That's a Warren truss where everything is 60 degrees. Sorry, I should have said. That is two metres, that is two metres. Obviously one, 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 one. Just to get the lines of action. The height of that, if you look at that, that's two metres, that's one metre. One squared plus h squared equals two squared. So h equals the square root of three equals 1.732 metres. That vertical distance is 1.732 metres. That's really all I need. Now, if Trusses freak you out. To calculate loads, just get rid of it. I have now got, that's one metre in, not that it matters. Let's take moments about the left hand side. Moments about the left hand side going that way equal the moments about the left hand side going that way. I have now just got this box. It is now no longer a truss and I don't think it looks anywhere near as complicated. The forces and the distances, however, are still exactly the same. That's one metre across, by the way. First thing, I'm going to get that 100 kilonewtons. I'm going to turn that into a force down and a force across. What we called resolving it into components. 100, 45 degrees. That and there's 100 sine 45. That's 100 times sine 45 is 0 0.7071. Please back me on that. So that's 70.7. .7. They are both exactly the same. Sine 45 equals cos 45. So I've just resolved this into components. Let me now just remove that. Say so my 45 degrees now is now 70.71 pulling down. 70.71 pushing across. I've got everything I need to easily solve that problem now. Taking moments around here, let me make sure I don't make a dumb mistake. One, two, three, four, five, six forces. At the end I will have six forces in my calculations. Moments about left going clockwise. It's 70.71 times one metre. This one. This one is making it go clockwise as well around there. So it's plus 70.71 times 1.732. Thank God I've got a calculator. Plus two times 100. Plus four metres times 50, distance from there to there is four, plus six times RR, that's over here but, that's going that way. So that's going that way, and this 50 is also going anti-clockwise. Plus 1.732 times 50. So, let's now do the maths. The first one. 
70.71 plus something plus 200 plus 200 equals 6 reaction right plus 70. So there's your maths. So 6 reaction right equals 200, 400, 500, 592, 593.17 minus 86.6 equals 506.57 So, the reaction right, there's the maths, 84.4 kilonewtons. There's no truss involved, all I've got is this box with these forces pushing on the box. That's 84.4. Now, forces up, equal forces down. reason why I picked that left hand side earlier is because that's only one force I had to calculate. If I took moments around here, I would have had two unknowns to work with. So, forces up, equal forces down. Forces up is reaction left vertical, plus 84.4 equals forces down 70.71 plus 150 reaction left vertical is 136.3 the reaction left on the horizontal you can simply say by inspection simply say by inspection forces that way equal forces that way so you can calculate it everything has a magnitude and a direction magnitude and a direction there are our forces calculated if trusses scare you well you can get rid of the truss just calculate what are the forces pushing on that box. A lot simpler.